Hi, welcome to the Stardust Rest Stop and Bar. What can I get for you? You can't read the menu? It's in common. Most aliens can read common. You're not an alien? Well, you certainly look alien to me. Oh, sorry if that sounded rude, but it's true. You're a human? Wait a minute. Didn't you guys join the Galactic Federation recently? I knew it. You all were isolated for so long that the rest of us wondered if you would ever join the Federation. What am I? Well, I am an Aviarian from the planet of Ava. I'm basically a humanoid with feathers all over my body and a few of my hair. Yep, we do come in different colors. They depend on the region of the planet we are from and our clans. I'm from the Walled Forest region and my clan is called the Vaxins. The name derives from the blue feathers my clan are able to grow on their bodies. Oh, sorry, I guess I forgot to give you my name. It's Taz. What's your name? That's a very nice name. Very poetic and lovely. So, what brings you all the way out here? Alright, let me get this straight. You're on a research mission to gather intelligence on the different worlds. And currently, you're feeling down because you can't celebrate Valentine's Day with your family and friends. Did I get all of that correct? Okay, would you like a drink? We have both alcoholic and non-alcoholic options. I personally don't drink. Then why am I a bartender? Oh, I like how I can make cool drinks and also make tasty non-alcoholic versions. Well, I know the Virgin Saturn Sunrise Cocktail is good. The jazzberries give it a nice, bright burst of flavor. As for the drinks that have booze in it, I've heard that Galaxian whiskey shots are particularly strong. However, I am warning you that they taste like ship engine fuel. Yuck. Let's just say one of my coworkers decided to play a prank on me. She replaced my jazzberry soda, which is an opaque black color, with ship engine fuel. The moment I took a sip, I spit it out all over her uniform. She was not happy about that. Had to go home to get a new uniform, too. <laughs> Agreed, she totally deserved it. And ever since then, she hasn't played any more pranks on me. So, what drink do you want? Excellent choice. Here you are. Is it to your liking? I can always remake it if you would like. I'm glad you like it. So, do you have plans for celebrating Valentine's Day? I guess most of your typical plans involve your family and friends, huh? Gotcha. You know what? How about I spend Valentine's Day with you? I know we just met a few minutes ago, but you seem really nice. Is that all right with you? <laughs> Excellent! My shift ends in a couple of hours, but you are more than welcome to talk to me until then. I would honestly love the company. Not many people come here anymore, so my shifts can be quite dull and kind of lonely. You're the sixth customer I've had all day. And by far the cutest one. <laughs> that blush is only adding to the cuteness. What do you typically do on Valentine's Day? You like to watch romantic movies and eat chocolate with your loved ones? Nice! My people don't celebrate Valentine's Day. We have True Hearts Day instead. It's a day when we celebrate our loved ones and romantic partners. We give gifts of flowers, sweets, and spend special time together. There's even a special plant that only blossoms on True Hearts Day. It's called the Heart of Ava. The scent they give off smells amazing.
it smells like your planet's chocolate, sunshine, and as cheesy as it sounds, love. Maybe you can visit sometime next year and experience it yourself. That would be great! Talking with you has honestly made my day. I can give you my contact info. I assume the Federation gave your people official communicators? I would be your first contact? <laughs> well, I'm honored to be your first. Let me put in my details. Alright. Now you can contact me whenever you like. There's a nice cafe near here that's open late. We can go there once my shift ends. Sounds like a plan then! It'd be nice to celebrate Valentine's Day with you.